and welcome to a lesson on the CISSP domain three definitions of aggregation, inference, and data mining, and how to easily tell the difference between the three. This video pulls from the updated common body of knowledge from May of 2021. These topics are also briefly covered in domain eight, but the majority of what you need to know comes from domain three. So let's jump right in. What is aggregation? The simplest way to put it is that aggregation is the collection of public information or less sensitive information. It's the act of gathering data. It's the accumulation of stuff. You can think of this as the precursor to inference, which we'll go over in a minute. A simple example of aggregation could be the media or news outlets watching where the president goes and putting his travels into a log of some sort. It's the act of collecting that information that we call aggregation. The information is public, it's not sensitive, and it's available to anyone. So what is inference? Inference is the act of interpreting the data you've collected. It's using the power of deduction to obtain information that you shouldn't. It's making some type of decision from the information. So if we continue with our example of the media aggregating the places visited by our president, first he goes to the Statue of Liberty, then he goes to the Eiffel Tower. For the sake of simplicity, Let's assume those were the only two data points aggregated by the media. At this point, they analyze the data and decide, decipher, or infer that his next location that he travels to will be the Taj Mahal. And that information, let's assume, is top secret. Now, of course, this is a crude example of what these principles are, but it should help you to visualize how each of these concepts differ and how they work. So again, aggregation is the collection, and inference is the interpretation, and the two usually go hand in hand. But wait, before we get into data mining, it's important to note that there are at least two other types of aggregation mentioned in the common body of knowledge. Sim aggregation comes from domain 7, and it refers to the collection of logs for analysis, or what is called correlation. It aggregates logs from applications, appliances, and it can ingest logs in various formats, such as PDF, Word, Excel, or text files, etc. Permission aggregation is basically the new term for privilege creep. It's where a user keeps accumulating access to one system after another, such as a central database or mainframe, followed by another, maybe the facilities control system, followed by another, maybe the teleconferencing server. And these would all be for legitimate purposes, but management has either forgotten to remove the old permissions, or maybe there was poor communications and the old permissions remained. Obviously, this is a security concern because the internal user might abuse those privileges. So what is data mining? The simplest way to define data mining is simply running complicated searches on a database. One of the key differences is that data mining assumes an approved user or process is running those searches. And it's not just searches, it's creating analysis, finding trends, finding patterns, finding relationships between data sets and data points. It's a whole family of activities that is done against a large set or sets of data. It can also be called data discovery. Aggregation and inference typically assumes that the reconnaissance is being done by an unauthorized party. Data mining is done by someone or something with an authorized access. So that's it for this quick lesson. I hope you learned something. If you're preparing for the CISSP exam, I highly encourage you to visit cissprep.net. We have well over 1,500 practice questions that are the best on the market, and we also have the most affordable price for any of the online practice exams. So with that, I bid you farewell, take care, and have a great day.